here's a big challenge for construction today. Technology is here, but the owners aren't going to ask for it. Contractors aren't going to go out of their way to deliver more than what's on the contract, but they actually should. The financial gains are truly huge. A project cost is dramatically more on the operations and maintenance side than the actual design and construction. Here's the reality. Owners need to be more engaged with technology. If they become more engaged, productivity is going to skyrocket. Contractors will be more engaged at the job site, and all the results are going to be saving money, and it ultimately will improve the bottom line. So let's use the digital twin as an example. With the digital twin, some owners are, are very actively engaged and requiring a digital twin, some are not. When we get more owners engaged to change the requirements for deliverables, to get the contractors, the subs, the fabrication, all of the supply chain on a project engaged, they're actually going to see dividends on the end, as we talked about earlier, with the sustainability and maintenance of those assets. The real power of a digital twin is the efficiency of the project, which lowers the cost for the owner, which also then is going to lower their operating and maintain maintenance costs as they move forward because they will have access to all information that is relevant to those assets for the whole life cycle of that asset. We need to look even further into what the digital twin is and the impact for owners, contractors, and subs. But first, let's look. The digital twin is simply a digital replica of a living or non-living physical entity. It could be an actual physical asset that exists today or a potential asset that it could exist in the future. A digital twin is a digital representation of a physical uh, asset, system, or process that includes the engineering information, construction information, operations information, that now you have a, a single form where you can do your analytics and see your information in one place. For construction, the digital twin is the environment is often a 3D immersive visualization. Digital Twin also enables an open, connected data environment. It supports a number of processes from inspection, automated progress monitoring, as-built versus design models, let's say predictive control, or estimate probabilities, construction monitoring, safety monitoring, quality assessment, equipment tracking, data processing, how about visualization, and so many others. Construction companies can also use the digital twin for analytics and machine learning. There is such a big need for this today because the digital twin can improve the whole project delivery process through digital transformation. A digital twin works in construction by allowing the user uh, and the project team to uh, run through the whole process before actually being on site. Uh, the information you have there has all of the costs, quantities, uh, you can run the analytics and actually rehearse it before you actually build it to save time when you're actually out on the job site. Growth is imminent too. Markets and Markets says the digital twin segment is going to grow from about 3.8 billion from last year alone to about 35.8 billion by 2025. Now this represents a whopping 45.4% growth rate. Now here's the good news. When implemented, there are huge benefits. Think reduction in production costs, or how about real-time project monitoring? Digital Twin can help shorten time to market and even extend the life of equipment and assets. Some of the key benefits of a digital twin are having access to all of the information from many disparate systems in one location with a visual context. Uh, by having all of this information in a open source uh, environment, it allows you to run analytics, um, status, communicate, and see all this information from all different sides in one location. Consider the example of being able to see a building before it's even built. Now take this a step further. A digital twin can monitor progress against the schedule. It can automatically relocate any of your resources, and this will help us achieve the sustainability that we all need. Now this is just the beginning. 
The impact on sustainability when leveraging a digital twin uh, comes down to as our technologies have evolved, uh, everybody is more used to, uh, if I'm near something or need to find something, I click on it and the information is available to me. A digital twin is a perfect representation of that. If I'm going to maintain an asset and I wanna check on the sustainability of it, when I click on that asset, I should know everything about it. I should know the equipment, the engineering, the specs, the plans, who installed it, when it was installed, when it was maintained. All of that information should be available to me. Digital Twin also has the opportunity to help all of us with training. The Digital Twin plays a role in training in, in several respects. By having a digital representation, you can run through the scenarios of how this needs, this piece of equipment needs to go into a job site, uh, how you're going to uh, physically fit this through, uh, and watch out for safety issues. You can monitor those. But in addition, it expands now with the technologies such as the HoloLens or augmented reality. They can actually now put on a set of goggles and actually stand in front of the equipment and it can tell them what they need to do to this piece of equipment to install it. All of the information is now at their fingertips out on site and they can actually see what they are actually need to do. Production has done an excellent job, I think, of training in the past because they've normalized information. But the augmented reality and interaction has been lacking on the infrastructure. But now if we think about the digital twin, there are many lessons being learned from production and manufacturing that are being applied to, let's say, roads, bridges, and even railways. Uh, our projects are not componentized, they're not pieces and parts. But with now with the digital twin, we can break those long linear roadways, those large scale projects down into pieces and parts uh, so that now we can actually build uh, training, you can see the schedule, and you can run through the scenarios of how I'm going to break this down, when do I need my equipment, when do I need my people, and now that we also have uh, this 3D model to apply to those, we can now start to leverage the augmented reality, the HoloLens, uh, all of those mixed reality uh, components are now brought into the infrastructure world where in the past it was not because we did not have a 3D model as our deliverable and this digital twin with time all of these pieces and parts on our supply chain now make it easy to do training and then get repeatable uh, reusable impact from it. Digital twin is changing the way the world is built the opportunities for construction are too hard to pass up, but owners and contractors need to be willing to take a risk and to step forward to adopt the technology. Are you ready to be that innovator and be the new worker of the future today? Thanks for watching Construct Tech TV, fierce advocates for construction. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.